Hello everyone, this is Leland Best over at BCB Live and today I'm going to give you a walkthrough demonstration of vMix 17's live production studio software. Stay tuned. Okay, now that we're back, I'm going to go ahead and fire up the vMix software with the icon down here on my taskbar. This is vMix 17.0.0.85. Uh, I know there's a newer update available even at the time of this recording, but I have not installed it currently. I know there's not a lot of updates that have uh, superseded anything that's available here in this version, so I was just going to run with it. Uh, this is the default setup that you're going to see when you come into vMix. Now the videos I'm going to produce today are going to be short in nature. Uh, we're going to take it one step at a time so that people get a full understanding of how the software works, how it's been developed, and what it can be used to do on a live streaming environment. What we have here is an input screen, an output screen, and the input devices that are being utilized by the software. Over to the right is an audio mixer setup so that you can see how your audio quality input and output are handled. Uh, and obviously there's nothing here just yet. So I'm coming to you from a screen share uh, through Corel Video Studio X9 and I'm capturing one of my monitors. I'm using voice meter as my sound mixing uh, software device. In this case it's not an external voice mixer uh, but that's allowing me to produce this particular video. So what I need to do is get myself on screen here. So I'm going to take and in the lower left corner I'm going to add an input. I'm going to go to camera. I'm going to look for my camera device for the Logitech HD Pro Webcam 920, which you can find available on my website over at BCB Live if you want to incorporate a 1080p stream into your feed. So here I am. Now, you see me in the output screen. If I want to truly represent what takes place in vMix, normally you have a preview and an output. Uh, you can see the meters bouncing here for the sound. That's because it's picking up my Logitech camera's microphone through vMix. Now anyone can use the mixer within vMix itself. We'll get to that aspect of it in another video. Here we're just going to set up the camera, set up an image and an overlay for a lower third. Then we'll do another couple videos as we move along. So here I'm going to turn off the mix from the camera device into vMix so that there's no audio conflict with what I'm trying to produce in case I go live for any reason. You'll still see the the meter picking up the sound at the mic itself but it's not going to show up in any of the other meter bars. So what we have here is just one input device, a camera, and myself. Now behind me you see a, a pretty simply fabricated uh, what we'll call green screen. Okay. Now this is something that I purchased at Walmart. I can show you real quick like, if you want to see it. It's simply a dowel hanging up on the ceiling with hooks and I have a $10 Walmart curtain slid across behind me. And obviously it doesn't cover everything behind me, so how do I work around uh, a green screen that's not a full wall of color? Well, we'll get to that later. The things I really wanted to cover next were adding an input for the lower third. So I'm gonna go to the titler. I'm gonna pick one of the headlines. Let's just use this one here. I like it's kind of a faded effect and under the headline I'm going to use the name I always tend to use the at symbol because usually a lot of the, the live streaming platforms allow you to chat with an at symbol to identify other users or it's really just my Twitter handle so if I want to identify myself where people can find me later uh, they can go ahead and find me at Twitter at Leland Best so BCB live and maybe I want to put a background image on that, but this is just what I'm going to use as the default. So I can X that out. There's no OK button here, obviously. And I can close that. And now I can go ahead and add that as an overlay to my image. Now this is a direct prompt to the output. You see it doesn't show up in the preview. Overlays go directly to output when you select on them. Uh, some of the features below each input device here are to close it out, which will eliminate the input device. I can do a quick play which will pop it directly into the output screen. I can cut it over to the output screen, which you won't see the difference because it's the same effect here. Uh, I can turn the audio on or off for that particular input device. So in this case, 
Uh, I'm just going to leave the audio on. It doesn't really make any difference, but you can see how it's turning it off up here between the two uh, to the main source, which is the master volume. Okay, that controls the master volume output. Uh, there's also the ability to see a large preview of this output device, as you can see, uh, and I can just click on that again. It goes away, and I can also go to the settings of this device. And in this case, in order for my green screen to function properly, now we should have a lot of good lighting. I don't have a lot of lighting here. Uh, normally you would have a hair light that's going to be cutting. It cuts out that fuzz that goes around the back of your head. Uh, I have two LED light bulbs broadcasting out uh, from either side of me that are a clear white light. Uh, they tend to work really well. I got them for like three bucks a piece at Home Depot, and I simply stuck them into standard lamp fixtures. Uh, I have some cowboy lighting and some uh, other lighting hardware available at BCB Live if that's something you're into. I don't have the room here in this small studio to put myself into a large uh, full production studio, so I don't bother with the heavy duty equipment. I just created this little green screen for myself, but I'll show you in uh, one of the next tutorials as to how I actually do that. So let me just correct my uh, graphic here. I'm simply going to go to the position. I'm going to zoom it down a little bit. I'm going to move it down a little bit so it's not quite in my face. So now I have something that I can broadcast with. Now if I want to, I can go ahead and set up my external camera, fire it right up. Okay, now you can see the little EXT light shows up here above the output screen and the external camera is lit. Now what that means is a couple of things. The camera is now functional. I am broadcasting a signal, but this is more related to a virtual camera being used for WebRTC. So if I were to go to a site that had WebRTC and say I was going to sign into, uh, even if I were to sign into Skype and set my camera to some device that I was going to use, I wouldn't set it to my Logitech C920, which is what I'm utilizing through vMix, but what would happen is I would have an option to set to vMix camera. And, or vmix output. Um, some I think it shows up a couple of different ways. That allows me to select that option and anything that goes through this output channel on vmix will be captured into WebRTC as the output device and that allows me to do a lot of cool things on a, on a web channel. So let's say I want to add another input like an image. I can add an image. Let's just say I want to, I want to throw up something at the beach. I have this image of the beach. I'm going to reset it so that it fills the screen. So now I have a full-blown image. Now if I were to merge this over or fade it, these are the transitions that are available. Now vMix also has a device known as the vMix Control Center that allows you to do all of these transition work, cuts, fades, pans, mic switches, input device selections, T-bar, which is what this is here. This does the fade over. You can see what this T-bar controls. I can go to the beach and turn myself into the beach so that I'm kind of in between here because I'm going to fade. Uh, and now my camera device switches over here and the beach is over there. But, you know, everybody wants to be on the beach, right? Well, how can I put myself onto the beach? Well, let's show you how to do that. I'm going to open up my input device for the camera. Now, in this case, I have a green screen. So I'm going to head over to color key. I'm going to turn on my color key. I'm going to choose a color that now I could use several different colors as a background. I'm going to use some form of green. Okay. And then I turn on my chroma key filter, and you see the screen behind me change color slightly to like a dull, drab green. That's because it's identified the primary color green within the audio in, or the video input device. I'm going to go ahead and slide this bar up until it starts to transition out. And you'll see. Now it's become a transparent effect. Now, because I don't have my hair lighting, you can see the fuzz that's going on over my head, but that's fine. Uh, now, what about the side panels here? That's going to be part of the image. It's not going to work right. So I go to position, and now I, what I want to do is I want to crop this image from the X side and from the Y side. So now I've cordoned off, and you can see where my hand cuts off where these corners are at. Uh, I can, if I have to, I can move my camera a little bit so I can you know, square it up and make myself a little more comfortable so I'm centered in the screen and not missing elbows and things like that. And then I can simply close that and now I'm on a black background. 
And what that gives me is the ability to overlay myself. Now these four numbers here are the overlay channels available. And I'll show you a little bit more about that in just a moment. In the free version and the basic HD version, you only have access to one overlay. On any version of vMix from there up, you have access to all four overlays. Now I'm using the pro version right now, which has access to everything. So and I can even have access to 4K uh, video in this particular case, which I don't use it at the current time because I don't have the bandwidth that provides uh, adequate support for that. But now I can overlay myself. Now I'm going to close out this overlay. Again, that shuts that off. And I'm going to make myself the number one overlay. Now I'm on the beach. There I am, okay? Now if I go to overlay two, I can add my lower third. Now I'm feeling best at the beach. And I can do several things from there on out. Uh, what I want to show you as one other overlay option here so that you can see what's available in the free and basic HD package is I'm going to add one more input device only this time I'm going to go with a desktop capture or NDI device which is a network device interface. I don't have NDI set up on this computer which is the ability to incorporate other input devices via IP addresses. Uh, so I'm going to go to a local desktop capture and I want to show you what's on my display number two. So you can now see my voice meter software mixer on my other desktop. This is my desktop on the other side. I'm going to close down the voice mixer. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a browser window. Now I'm over at the vMix website right now and I'm showing you the, the products. Now you can see them on the preview monitor but someone on a live feed would not be able to see that first screen. They would only see where I'm at here with the lower third. So in order to incorporate this as an overlay I want to say put it up in the corner as a, another image, okay? With access to only one overlay, I'm kind of limited here. So, if you see what I'm going to do here, what I'm going to take into consideration, I'm just going to zoom this down, I'm going to create a little box, I'm going to move it over to the corner, okay? I'm going to close that. Now I'm going to make a third overlay. Now it's in my face, obviously, because I just created an overlay. Now again, I remind you, this is not available in the two lesser versions of vMix. And the reason I'm showing you this is because there is a workaround, okay? I'm on the beach, I have my lower third, I have my other interface there. Now obviously, in, in a real case, I'm probably going to put myself over here, okay, a little better. So now I'm out of the way. And I could even do that with my lower third, I can slide that over, okay. Now that's a little more appropriate effect for what we want to do. We can drag this down a little bit to get it out of the corner. Now I can talk about vMix. Okay. Again, this is a pro version that I'm using. And if we go into the specs on these, you can see here that I can use two input devices on the basic. I can use three input devices on the basic HD. And I can use up to a thousand input devices on any of the other versions. The basic free version comes with just under 800-600 quality video, which honestly, in most cases, is more than adequate for any type of broadcasting that you might want to do. If you want to really get crazy and have an HD camera and have good signal bandwidth going upstream, then you can obviously go into the HD package, which for $60 you can get the one overlay channel and three input devices. And let me show you now how I can convert over from having just one overlay out of what I just showed you you could do with three and then we'll stop this recording and I'll create another one to move on from there so what I'm gonna have to do now my image is overlay one so I'm gonna back out one level at a time and I'm gonna close out my third overlay my second overlay and my first overlay so all I'm left with is an image now sorry to say you cannot do the background image with the overlays if you want to do anything close to this with just the free versions. I'm going to merge myself over onto this screen. Now I'm the direct output of my input device which is my camera. I'm not an overlay. As you can see down below here I don't have any of these numbers highlighted. Now I could come on screen and say hello I'm Leland Best at BCB Live. So I have my lower third representing myself as a broadcaster. But then from there, I want to show my screen and talk about my presentation. Well, people have already seen that I'm Leland Best at BCB Live, so I can simply replace that overlay channel with the next layer and say, and today we're going to talk about 
and cover whatever it is. And I still have to get used to this thing about the green screen. Everything's opposite. I have to remember that. I'm not a meteorologist, so I don't know how to do these green screen things sometimes. Um, but that gives you the option to say, okay, now let's talk about what's in the window up here. And this gives you that ability to go ahead and scroll and talk about what's going on. So I hope that's clarified at least the principle behind. And again, I turned on the external camera, but that was only to let you see how you would broadcast out to a platform inclusive of WebRTC. And if you wanted to record something out of here, you could do the same thing with the record button and simply start a recording of whatever setup you confirm. And when you hit record, whatever's shown in the output window will come out as a recording on an MP4 or AVI or whichever choice of uh, software out you intend to use. So uh, this has been Leland Best, BCB Live. This is video one of a short series of video tutorials that I'll be doing to show you how to use vMix 17 in your video productions and live streaming. So we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Full access to BCB Live tutorials, be sure to subscribe to this channel.